Travis Gotti. We're here with True School Sports. Oh, man. Yeah, we up in this motherfucker, Los Angeles, the forum. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, uh, we're getting pretty close to the Canelo Chavez Jr. fight. Uh, it's a fight that a lot of people are excited for. I'm not really that excited for it. Honestly, I think Canelo's going to walk right through Chavez, but I'll watch anyway. But if you're wondering why that many videos haven't come out, that's why. But in regards to Canelo, uh, some news came out. Interesting news. I thought I'd talk about this because it seemed like uh, worthy news to talk about. Now, if you guys don't know, if, or if you haven't heard, there was a report that came out um, about a day or so ago that uh, basically Canelo said that if, he, if this mega fight with Gennady Golovkin does happen, that uh, he does not want to fight for, or he will not fight for the uh, WBC title belt. And um, his reasoning was that um, he said that the WBC made it look like uh, that, uh, that that he has vacated the belt or gave it away to Golovkin and all this all this stuff. So I'll read you the quotes and we'll dissect it from there. Here's what Canelo had to say in regards to basically just. The WBC and how they made him look, look, look like a coward from his perspective. Here's what he said. He said, I quote, For me, I'm always thankful and respectful. For me, it's to be appreciative. That's why I've had my team from the beginning. I've never been disloyal to the people, to my people, to the press, and no one because I'm appreciative. I'm not grateful to the WBC. Nope. They made us look like we let the uh, WBC title um, vacate or that we gave it away to Golovkin. We had a legal thing in Miami. We were in court, and they wanted us to resolve everything while we were in court. So we had a lot of things going on, and they made it made us look like I gave the beltway because I was afraid. No, I'm not afraid of anyone. If that ha fight happens, it will be without the WBC belt. It will be for other belts, and that's it without, w without the WBC. Why? Because they acted wrong. How was he going to push for that when I had another problem, enforcing that problem, and push, push, push? So that's what Canelo said, and you know... Obviously, um, there's this many, there's many ways you could look at this. Now, Canelo Alvarez, we we know we, we know last year when he uh, when he knocked out Amir Khan, it was pretty clear he had a certain amount of time to negotiate a fight with Gennady Golovkin, and if not, he would be forced to vacate the belt. And that was the that was in that there it was after that fight that he had his infamous interview where he said, you know, in Mexico we don't f around, and. People took that very seriously, and you know, this is a fight that many many people, many people thought after he said that would have happened last year, but obviously it didn't. Golovkin was there and said, you know, in plain English, "Give me my belt," and Canelo complied. He gave him his belt, and we heard nothing about Canelo's legal troubles. In fact, there's there's been a whole laundry list of excuses and different reasons from Canelo's team as to why this fight didn't happen. There's, you know, we've had everything from. Uh, I'm not a middleweight to um, Mexicans don't F around to, you know, we don't want to be pressured by artificial deadlines to, you know, we've had uh, Tom Loeffler's out of town. Who has GGG fought anyway? Um, then we've had the whole 164.5 catch weight. Uh, we've had a lot of different things. We say we, we heard uh, Gennady Golovkin is asking for too much money. We've heard a lot of things from the Canelo side of things and, you know, at this point, I think if you're a boxing fan, you don't even care if like he fights for all the belts. Now, obviously, I don't want to see the fight happen for all the belts, but you know Canelo, being the diva that he is, um, you know he 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 doesn't want to. You know he doesn't. He, he's for whatever reason all of a sudden now he's just pulling this out of his behind that he doesn't want to fight for the WBC title because they, he said that they made him look like he was some sort of coward, and I don't want to call any boxer a coward because. Anybody who steps in the ring, you know they deserve the most. They deserve the utmost respect. But as far as you know, how he handled the whole Gennady Golovkin title situation when he when he beat Khan, and then there was a clear deadline to make the fight happen or get a date squared away, and then he just gave his belt away. I mean, that's what happened. All right. And to now all of a sudden pull this out of your behind and say that oh we had this thing in court and and that's why it didn't happen. When you gave like a million different reasons why it wasn't happening in the first place, I don't know. It's just it's not a good look for Canelo, and I would even add this: it's it's, it's a known fact that Canelo Alvarez balloons up in weight uh, like no other fighter in boxing. We're talking like this guy 
he'll cut all the way down to 155, creating new weight classes. Um, and then on fight night, he'll, be, he'll go from 155 one night, and then he'll come in the next day on fight night weighing 180, 190, looking like a whole different guy. So with all that being taken into account, it's a known fact that the WBC is the only sanctioning body that does VADA testing, which is um, the most stringent uh, drug testing in boxing. And um, Canelo has always, always been able to, you know, kind of manipulate his way through the rules and, and things of that nature with the WBC. Um, but maybe he just had it. Maybe he doesn't want to go through the VADA testing. Maybe he doesn't, maybe maybe he just like, you know, he wants to. I don't know. I'm not I'm not accusing the man of nothing, but I'm saying we we know that they they do enforce their VADA testing uh, for the most part. So that's what it is. Canelo saying that if he does fight Gennady Golovkin. He will not be fighting for the WBC title because they uh they made him look bad and they made him, they made him look like he gave the belt away. Well, that's really what happened. So I don't know what he's mad about. I don't know why he's being a little deep about this, but it is what it is. Hopefully in September, you know, if he does what many expect him to do, which is get past Chavez Jr. Because look, people, I mean, I want, I personally want to see Chavez Jr. win. Actually, no, I don't. I'm, I, I take it back. I don't want to see Chavez Jr. win. I actually want to see Canelo win this fight because I want to see GGG, GGG versus Canelo. And I don't think Chavez Jr. is going to win anyway because uh, the weight cut is too much. He's way that he's he's he, he, he's way too like you know straight up and he gets hit way too often. I think Canelo is going to rip him a new one. Um, so you know, could I be wrong? Of course, it's happened once before, and I'm sure it'll happen again. But Canelo Alvarez uh, or, or Chavez Jr. I should say. A lot has to go right for him to win this fight, and I just don't see it happening. So, um, th this fight's whatever to me. I'll watch it. I might do a post-up video. I might not. But uh, Canelo Alvarez, uh, he's not. He's, just, just make the fight in September happen. That's that's that, that's really the only fight I care about as far as Canelo. Unless he's fighting like you know like David Lemieux, I mean, that'd be an interesting fight to see if he actually beat a legitimate middleweight. But um, that's the news. Uh, you guys heard it here. Uh, Canelo Alvarez not fighting for the WBC title if he fights Gennady Golovkin. Let me know what you guys think about that. And this just recent uh, change of heart. All of a sudden, he hates the WBC. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, and you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take care, guys.